Hi lovies, it's Cherie. Um, today I'm going to do a demo of some All Natural Face products, which is a company that's vegan, um, mostly vegan, I think maybe all vegan, I'll put that up here, um, natural and cruelty free. I love their products. They were one of the first companies that I tried when I went natural um, or started to more explore those natural options. And I did my entire face, everything on my face. Is the all natural face. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little demo for you guys and show you how to apply and work with some of their most popular products and some of my favorite products that I love. So stay tuned. Okay so here's my finished face. Um, I went ahead and just did one side and then I'm gonna show you guys the application on the other side. Um, but this is gonna be our finished look so I'm gonna use all these products and show you how to apply them. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prime. I use the Diva Stick uh, eyeshadow primer. It works really well. Their Diva Sticks are amazing because you can use them on any part of your face. Um, you can use them for shadow primers. You can use them lipstick, blush, brows, everywhere. Um, so this is the primer. So I'm going to warm it up with my finger. They are a little bit hard so they can be kind of harsh on your eyelid if you don't have them warmed up. So you either need to warm it up with your finger and then apply it or you need to use your finger and then just dab it on your eye. That's what I do. <laughs> Okay, so I just bring it up sort of into my crease a little bit, and then I'm also going to use the Diva Stick in Orange Ice Storm, which is, it's not orange at all, it's more of like a really pale, maybe orange, but it's kind of champagne-y to me, so I really love it as a brow highlight. I'm going to apply it the exact same way. See how it just gives you a little subtle shimmer highlight? Just a little bit. Um, now I'm going to do my under eye. This... I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not really good with the concealers, like I just, I don't know a whole lot about them, but a friend sent me this concealer, and I don't know if this is where you're supposed to put it, but I love it as an under eye concealer, um, but it's yellow, it's called Midas, and I don't know, it just offsets the color in my, the redness in my eyes really well, so I use it as an under eye concealer. Boop, boop. <laughs> so it's not dramatic, but uh, if you don't really have dark under eye circles, I really like this color because I feel like it just kind of brightens your face up. Alright, so now we're going to do shadow first because I always start with eyeshadow. And the first color that I'm going to use is called Just Peachy, and I only have a sample of it, but that's because once I use this up, I'm going to buy the full size. Uh, but it's this nice sort of neutral pink color. It's really pretty. It's just a neutral pinky gold, and I'm going to put that on my lid. Alright, so I just have it on my lid, super easy. Uh, the next color I'm going to use is a color that I had a sample of and I used all of it and fell in love with this color and it's still one of my, out of all of my eyeshadows, it's one of my favorite sort of colored, dark, purpley kind of colors. It's called Purple Sunset and it's just a dark purple and it's got all these shimmers in it and it's got a little bit of like gold, a little bit of red. It just looks like a purple sunset. I'm going to use that on my outer corner and into my crease. All right, now I'm going to go back in with the Just Peachy just to kind of get more of that neutral color back in there. Boop. All right, so we're done. Um, I like this kind of two-step eyeshadow because it's quick and easy for a day if you just want to look natural but put together. All right, so now our eyes are done, and we're going to do foundation. Um, their foundation is a cream full coverage concealer slash foundation, which I love uh, because I'm a full coverage con uh, foundation kind of girl. And uh, if you don't want a full face of foundation, you can just dab this lightly on your red dots, and then you've got a nice concealer. This is the larger pot size. Mine is in... What color am I? I am Almond Goddess. And I'm not completely sure this is my color, but all of their colors, if you kind of get around the family that you're looking for, you can blend them out to make them look like they are. Um, I'm probably lighter than this, so uh, I'm going to use this up until it's gone. But the good thing about the All Natural Fa Face Foundations is they have such an array of colors, like you're guaranteed to find your color. I think they have like 50 or 60, I'll put that up here, um, different foundation colors, so I really feel like you can find your perfect match. They also sell these, of course, in small sample sizes, uh, so you can make sure you get the one you like. So I went to Sally's and I bought these little spatulas. They were super cheap, um, or you could use like a stirrer from Starbucks or something. Just something to dig it out with, unless you like having foundation under your fingernails, which I do not. So I just get enough out that I think I need for my face, and I put it on the back of my hand to warm it up. So I just sort of spackle it on there. And then I just take my finger and I rub it. I just rub it and get it nice and uh, creamy and soft. You want to get any 
any lumps out. Okay, so there, it's nice creamy. And then I'm just gonna dab it on my face with my finger. Okay, once we're kind of like roughly dabbed, now I'm just gonna use my finger again to kind of blend it all in, and then I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender and perfect it. Okay, so there, we could stop there if you want to, if you feel like that's blended enough, but I really like to go in with my Beauty Blender and give it a flawless finish. So I just take my Beauty Blender and some spray water that I have always sitting around and I just spray it. I just like to moisten the top of my Beauty Blender, I don't like to completely saturate it. And then you're just gonna blend it in like you would any other foundation. Okay, so now we're blended. It's full coverage. It got rid of all my redness and covered up all of my acne. Um, I just love this foundation. It's very flawless. I do feel like the cream needs a powder on top. They sell a white one. Um, I think it's called Angel something. I have that one as well, but I always like to do a flesh colored one. So I'm going to use my... Um, pressed powder foundation from the unnatural face. I love these compacts. You buy the compact one time and then once you reach pan you can just buy a, a, a refill pan and put it in. It saves you money and it saves the environment. I love that. Um, but this is also a full coverage powder foundation so in the summer I use this as a powder foundation um, and then in the winter I use it to kind of set my cream foundation. So I'm just going to use a brush and put it on. Alright, so I feel like the foundation with the powder on top, it really just kind of gives it a flawless finish. Um, it still kind of gives you a nice glow. It's been definitely full coverage and I just, I love the powder on top. I feel like it just kind of sucks up any extra, extra moisture and just really sets everything nicely. Okay, so for blush I have lots of options. Um, I did purchase their sample pack which gives you a sample baggie of every single solitary one that they have. Um, I have so many now that I haven't actually purchased any powder. Um, any powder blushes, but I do have a lot of their cream blushes and I just picked my two favorites to show you and then I'm just gonna use one. My favorite of all time is Every Day is a Good Day. If they ever get rid of this blush, I'm just gonna have to like jump off a bridge. It is the perfect sort of blushy, pinky, peachy color. It just gives your face a nice natural kind of flush to it. It's not too strong, it's not too light. I love it. My second favorite color is Mulberry, which is a purple color. And when I saw it in the container, I was like, no, 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 we'll not like it. And it looks so good on my face. I just, I love this color so much. Um, all I'm going to do is use a little stippling brush and I'm just gonna swirl it in there and put it on my face. Okay, so now we're nice and lightly flushed with blush. Um, so now I'm gonna finish up my eyes and I'm gonna use one of their products for two different things because that's how awesome their products are. I love products that you can use for one thing and also for another. I mean, it just saves everyone time and money. So I'm gonna use their Diva Stick in dark brown and I'm gonna use it as an eyebrow color and as a liner. So here it is, it's just in dark brown. Um, so let's do that. This is super pigmented, so for eyebrow, I just kinda dot it in there and then I sort of even it out with a spoolie. Bear in mind I haven't done my eyebrows in a while so they're looking a little crazy. Um, but now I'm going to use it as an eyeliner. I will say that the thickness of the brush can be a bit challenging um, but you just keep it really sharp and you should be good to go. You can also kind of rub a brush into it which is what I'm going to show you how to do now and you can use that as like a liner brush. All right, so now I'm lined. I really like using the brush with the stick uh, at the end just to kind of smooth all the lines out and it really kind of works it into my lash line, which I really like. Um, so I kind of use multi-tools with their multi-use product. Uh, so now we're gonna do mascara. And uh, here's the All Natural Face Mascara. It's definitely lengthening. Um, you can build it up to volume. So here is my built up eye and then my regular eye. So I'm gonna show you how I put it on. Okay, so there's three coats of mascara. Um, it doesn't clump. I feel like I could go like to six, you know, layers of mascara if I wanted to. It does not clump. Um, so here's a close up. All 
All right, so now all we have left to do is lips. Uh, you can use any of their Diva Sticks as lip products as well, um, which I think is awesome because it just kind of gives you like a whole collection of different lip options. Um, one of my favorite red lips uh, that's in the Diva Stick is the red clay one. I'm not gonna use that one today just because I feel like this is more of a neutral look, um, but it's this gorgeous like brick red color. I just, I, I adore it. Um, today I'm gonna use Dusty Rose. Um, it's a nice sort of neutrally pink and I'm just gonna use that as my lipstick. So here is it, here it is just by itself. It, they're all kind of matte if you use the Diva Sticks, which I like because I love matte, but they don't feel terrible on your lips. Um, this is just a really light coat, and uh, I think it's pretty flattering and good for daytime. And then if I want to pump it up a notch, of course, they have a whole selection of gorgeous lip glosses. Um, I have this color called Glazed Strawberry. And it's just a pretty sort of reddish pink that's sheer. So I'm just gonna pop that on. So I think that's super flattering. They also have a line of skincare. Um, I don't have a whole lot of their skincare just because I haven't been able to invest in that yet. Um, I do want to, to sort of tell you guys how I prime my face and I do use the All Natural Face 100% Pure Aloe Vera Gel. I use this as a primer slash moisturizer. So I put this on before I put on my makeup. It sinks in really fast. Um, it really kind of gives me a nice base and fills in any pores for me. Um, so I'm just in love with the All Natural Face. All of their products are amazing. They're all natural and vegan and cruelty free. Um, most of them are vegan. I'll have to double check that. Uh, but I just love their products. You can't go wrong. And they were the one of the first company, companies I tried and I'm still just in as in love with them now as I was then. Um, so here's my whole face. Um, but they have a lot of more products. They have a lot more products that I haven't even tried yet. So there's always something new. They have thousands of things that I, I'm very interested in. So go check them out, and I will see you guys later. Bye.